so it's nearly Halloween and we've got a little idea to use some of these little things here for uh, a little scary treat for kids. Um, let's go and pick a few more. So these are going to make our uh, scary lips and you'll see just what we're going to do with that in a while. So Halloween, um, what we're going to do with the, with the apples we've just picked is we're going to make some scary little teeth um, with blood candy and some of that candy we're going to make some candy apples as well. So this is a really good wee recipe just into how, how to make um, a very simple candy for Halloween. So to make this we need a very good heavy bottom pan, um, a little measuring jug, some good apples. We're going to use some toasted almonds for the teeth, um, a little bit of butter to uh, stop the stuff from sticking. I like to use a little bit of coconut on the candy apple. We've got some granulated sugar and some red food coloring. And that's it. So to make our candy, this is very simple. Uh, we need two cups of sugar. So any measuring tool that you, you want to use, is, you need two of. Uh, we need three quarters of that in water. And then we need a little drop of food coloring. So the red stuff is fantastic. Let's give it a little stir in. Let's see. It's getting spooky already. It was on the heat and that's on the heat. On a medium heat for about 15 minutes. What you do not do is you do not stir this from here, okay? Um, if you stir it, you'll ruin it. You can see it's now come to the boil. We want to turn that away down to probably about number four on that. Just on a nice medium heat. As I say, do not touch this, okay? This will take 15 minutes. So for our apple teeth, you need to quarter your apple. The redder the better on this. Okay, and then we need to just cut in like that and cut down like that. Oh, and you see already we've got like a little um, mouth. Okay, little lips. Um, and let's get four of those done. What I forgot to add here was um, a little lemon juice. We'll just stop that from uh, going brown. So just give that a good rub and that'll protect it against the, the discoloring. Okay. And it also has a nice bit of flavor. So to make our little teeth, just put your knife in first and cut four segments on the bottom. And I like to put three on the top because this is a gnarly old toothless <laughs> wizard of some description. Um, and then our little teeth go in. Now, obviously, guys, there's a lot of children out there who've got nut, nut allergies. Um, I've got one in my own family, so just be very, very careful if, and check to see first if kids have got nut allergies before you do this. Um, you could replace this with little chocolate buttons. Um, you see? Um, but, you know, be creative and think about something else that you could use. So we're waiting and waiting. Uh, this is a pretty slow process, guys, but um, the you need to get this up to about 300 degrees um, over a medium heat. So it does take a wee bit of time. And if you've got a sugar thermometer, when you get to 300 degrees, you take it off, okay? If you don't have a sugar thermometer, you just take a little piece like that, drop it into some water. Um, and when it's ready, that will harden instantly. Take it off the heat because this will continue to cook um, and you don't want burnt candy. Um, so really what we want to do now is just to decorate our little uh, lips with some blood. And this is just like a little candy apple. Okay. Kids love this sort of stuff. And honestly, when you taste these, they're, it's like all, all, all the stuff that you get from candy apples with, um, with roast almonds and again guys just be very very careful about nut allergies 
Um, and yes, if you are going to do this with um, white chocolate, make sure you put the candy on first. Okay. Uh, so for our candy apple, turn the pot quite deep. It's it's. This is why I use such a small pot at this stage. Um, you'll see it just coats the whole thing beautifully. Okay. You don't want too much candy on it, but let that drip off a little bit. Okay. And then into our coconut. Set that up and it should form a base to it. So happy Halloween folks. Um, and if you like our videos, please uh, share them. Um, we'd like these to go all around the world. Uh, we're a very small company here, so um, your likes and shares are much appreciated, guys. And uh, so, ooh.